In this video, I'll show you a handful of breaks that I like to practice. Then we'll put them together into some combinations. So now we'll go over them real quick. These are regular breaks and regular breaks and puddles. There are plenty of tutor tutorials on that, so I won't go over those right now. This is what I'm going to call a paddle break. I paddle with my hand and then I break with that same hand, so it has to flip under the hoop to catch. Paddle break. Paddle break. Paddle break. Then we also have pinch breaks. And when I pinch, I have the hoop. The hoop touches me all across my arm on this section and this section. It's not just in the back of my arm on the top. So how that hurts. So I use my forearm and my bicep to break the hoop. Then we have this other kind of pinch break. And I think some people, when they do it, they, they do pinch it with their bicep and that hurts me so much so when I do that with my arm down what I'm doing is catching it in my elbow and so I'm not pinching I'm not closing my arm this next one I call a paddle pinch break break so it's just a paddle and then a pinch and then a break and a break and when you paddle you have to bring your arm out so that you could pinch so paddle up break break Paddle up, pinch, break, break. And then you can go back and forth doing those. Paddle, pinch, break, break. This one I don't know the name of. I'm going to call it a T-Rex break because I feel like a T-Rex when I do it. So my hand is just coming up from the inside and my fingers are curling over to break the hoop. To go back and forth with those ones, I do a break, break in between. T-Rex break, break, T-Rex break, break. The last one is a one-handed outside break. So you take your hand and you break it when it gets over to the other side. So I actually, I'm not like holding the hoop the entire time. It leaves my hand, break, 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 break. You can also put both hands up and use both hands to do that. So it's not really a one-handed outside break anymore, is it? It's a two-handed outside break. For the second combination, let's put together pinch breaks, T-Rex breaks, and outside hand breaks. And so the pattern is basically going around the body and coming back, and then we'll end it with the alternating pinch breaks. Five, six, seven, eight. Pinch, T-Rex, outside hand, two hands, right hand, T-Rex, pinch, start over. Pinch, T-Rex, outside hand, two hands, left hand, pass T-Rex, pinch, now, alternating, T-Rex, T-Rex. The third combination will go five, six, seven, eight, paddle, 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 pinch, T-Rex. Elbow outside and switch and paddle, 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 pinch. 
pinch, T-Rex, elbow, outside hand. The last combination is the most challenging one for me. So I only got it like three days ago. Um, I could never switch between paddle breaks and breaks and paddles. This combination goes break, 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 paddle, break, paddle, break, paddle, break, paddle, break, and break and paddle. And break, 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 paddle, break, break and paddle. Chicken. T-Rex. So I hope that helped. It's a few combinations. It's actually really hard to put them together and to remember what they are. Um, so I really just suggest for making a list, throwing them on the wall and picking a few, putting them together, and it's mostly just remembering that you have them in your head and that you know them. So going through them for four counts each um, is a good way to make your body remember what you have. Elbows, elbows. This one's weird for me, I can't do it. It hurts on me. T-Rex, 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 T-Rex. Double T-Rex is really hard. Vertical, double T-Rex. And flat one, outside hand. Outside hand, pop up, outside hand, pop up, switch. Uh, 